Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about shortcuts on iPhone and how do you create one? Well, to begin with it right now, I need to tell you one thing. For this, you're gonna need to have an app called Shortcuts available on your iPhone. It's a free app available from Apple. So you can always just go ahead and download it from the App Store if you don't happen to have it on your phone. But I believe that by default, you should already have it. Just look up shortcuts you can see it's right here available for me to use it so that's like the number one requirement now open up the app and you can see this app is split up into three different sections so you have shortcuts automation and gallery i'm going to explain to you right now so if you go to the gallery section here is where you can browse through all of the available it's something like a play store think of it as a way to download someone else's shortcuts which have been created by someone else but you can just use them for your own purposes which is really useful you can browse through them for example check out the quick shortcuts markup and send you can always just play or like add it by clicking on the plus icon and you just effectively save the shortcuts so start playing a pre-selected playlist now if you click on that this is going to be the shortcut that you use however to create in your own one you have two options you can choose the shortcut or automation if you want to create a shortcut, you can click on the shortcuts in the tab bar. And for this, you have to go to my shortcuts, all of them, and tap on the plus icon. Now you have a bunch of different things. So you basically choose action, you choose what is supposed to happen. So the shortcut is like a connection or a series of events which happen with one click. So let's say that I want to view recent photos and at the same time, I want to just add some text or send a text message to someone, whatever that is, you have to find what works for you. But this is how you create your own shortcut. So just by tapping on the shortcut, just by enabling it, all of the series of actions, everything is just going to happen just from that one shortcut, just because you tapped on it, you activated it. So it's really useful. So it's up to you to decide, but the shortcut only gets triggered when you decide to do it. When you tap on it, the shortcut is going to be activated. However, automations are a bit different because automations don't depend on your input. They don't rely on you clicking on the start to like keep it going. Well, instead you choose automation. This home automation uh, requires you to have some home appliances, but if you choose personal automation, you can choose when specific shortcuts get triggered. It can be during the time of the day. So you can choose it to be at sunrise, sunset, at daily, weekly, at a specific time. You can just turn on when alarm goes off, the shortcut is gonna get triggered. Or when you arrive home, when you leave home, when you get a message, when you send the message, when you receive an email, when some kind of app is open, when battery level reaches a certain percentage point. So this is automation. It's basically the same thing, like the same shortcut, same series or sequence of events, but it doesn't get triggered by you enabling or triggering the shortcut manually, but automatically, that's why it's called automation, depending on the time of the day, alarm, location, and a bunch of different things. So that's how it works. That's the difference between automation and shortcut, and that's how you can create as many automations and shortcuts as you want. Everything is inside the app, but you can always just add it to the home screen. If you click on the three dots right here, you can tap on the share icon and add it to home screen. You can see text like this. Now I should have the same thing. You can see the shortcut is right here on the home screen. It's clickable right away and it gets me inside the app like this. It just performs all the stuff that I wanted. Just the click, just using the click of a button. So that's about it. That's the process of creating a shortcut on an iPhone. I really do hope that you found this video useful. For more videos and tutorials like this one, make sure to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and peace out till then.